Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. My name is Jamie. Thank you guys for coming and checking out the videos. Hopefully you enjoy what you see. Feel free to like, um, share, or subscribe. I appreciate all the love and support that I get from you guys. I know it's been quite a while since I posted my last video, but I have been in the process of moving to a new home and I have great news. I now have my website up and running. I will post it in the description box below for you guys to go check it out. I am also a life coach and I offer coaching sessions through my website along with personal readings and also toe reading sessions. So if that's something you guys are interested in, feel free to jump over there and check it out and book a session. So I'm going to do a card reading for you guys today. The message that came through is pretty deep. I'm not going to lie. Like some of you out there um, are experiencing a time of deep healing right now in this moment. And um, my heart goes out to you. I am sending you all the love and high vibrational energy that I can send you during this time. So I'll just jump right in. Um, I'm going to use some new cards this time. I have a new Crystal Grid Oracle deck. Um, it's by Nicole McIntosh. So I really like this deck. It's really cool. I love working with crystals and using crystals um, to kind of raise my vibration or ground myself or clear out my chakras and my energy field. So um, having this deck is really nice because it shows you different grids that you can create with your crystals to help in whatever process you're going through. But um, I'm going to use it a little bit differently for the reading. So first it starts with deep healing. So that just goes with what I was saying. Right now, a lot of you are experiencing a deeper healing process. Um, but what this card is saying, it's like, basically, it's a lot harder to hold on to something than it is to let it go. It's a time of release right now. Um, holding on to things, it's like holding a, you know, a balloon or a ball underwater, you know, like every time you try to hold a ball underwater, it pops back up, right? It just wants to come back up to the surface. And that's pretty much how our emotions are um, and internal traumas that we experience. A lot of times we suppress those traumas, we hold them down. And by holding them down, we're really causing more suffering for ourselves than we than it would be for us to just let it up and let it go, cry it out, or whatever it is we need to do to release it and heal it, right? <clears throat> so the next card that came out with this one is boundaries. So this card could be saying one of two things. Um, it's either, one, you have walls up and, you know, perhaps you're secluding or isolating yourself um but you've built you've experienced pain in your life and it's caused you to build up walls and building up these walls you've blocked out the good from coming into you you know if you think about karma and energetic cycles um everything you put out comes back in and if you're trying to manifest something you're trying to manifest something positive in your life you're trying to put that good out there, but you've got walls up. There's no way for it to come back to you. Um, so that could be one interpretation of this card. The other interpretation could be that it's time for you to set some clear boundaries in your life. Perhaps um, with people, places, or things, or habits that you have. Um, set boundaries for yourself. Whatever it is that you're feeling called to within this message, um, one of the stones that can really help with setting boundaries and going through healing is uh, the calcite fairy, which is on this here, the card says. Calcite fairy stone. And this stone is really great for grounding you to the earth. So it, it acts as, a, as an anchor. So it can, if you, if you try to do a meditation with that stone, it'll really help you ground yourself to the earth and, and, really come into who you are, your truth, yourself, you know, that internal power within. 
So I'm just going to jump on to the next card. Um, I used my good tarot deck and also the animal oracle deck for this reading. I did pre-shuffle the cards before starting the video just to save on some time. The first card that came out though is the 10 of air and this card talks about ending of cycles, endings, bringing in new beginnings. Um, letting go of what's no longer needed in order for the new to come in. If you look here, this angel is just blowing these feathers up into the air, releasing it, you know, blowing it out, releasing it, just letting the feathers go wherever they're going to go and let them fall wherever they may fall. Um, because everything happens for a reason. So it's a time... Um, perhaps you've come to an epiphany about something. Perhaps, you know, you've realized that there's some things you need to heal within yourself. And you, you've had this realization. But this card is saying it's only up from here. You know, typically in the traditional tarot deck, this is the Ten of Swords. And the Ten of Swords is typically a man laying down on the ground with all these swords in his back. As if he's ended the battle, right? He's done. He's just done, done enough, enough, right? But this card, I like this deck because it has a whole different feel to it. You know, it's rather than being like defeated and overbearing and weighted down, this is more light and airy and just releasing of that, you know, a releasing of what's no longer serving you, letting it go, blowing it away. And the next card that came out with that is the Canary Spirit. And this card is saying, sing your own song. Find your authentic voice. Free yourself to experience your own inner light and show the world who you are. Be yourself in your relationships. Be yourself in your job. Be yourself at home. Be yourself at your core at all times. That's going to help you take those next steps into your journey forward, right? The card that followed that is the Eight of Earth. And this card is talking about gaining new knowledge. It's talking about um, working at a new craft or a new skill, an apprenticeship. Um, basically, it's saying for you to get creative and go within and create something out of all the things you've learned on your journey, right? It's time to create the new. I love this because it's like, it's a violin, right? Or a cello, or I'm not really sure what those things are called, but <laughs> it turns into like this tree and then it's got all these pinnacles from this tree. So it started as one thing and then it grew and it morphed into something totally new, something different. And it's something that you, you get like you receive from it, right? When you think of the pinnacles, you're thinking of like the things that you're manifesting in your earthly reality, your money, your job, your career, whatever it is that you want in this earthly lifetime. You're creating that, right? You're creating what you want. Develop an understanding based off of what you've been through, your life experiences. Let go of what's not needed and apply what skills you've learned to move forward. So the next card that came out is the Nightingale Spirit. And it says, love is all around. This card came out reversed, and a lot of times when I read cards, if I read cards reversed, I'll read it like just saying that the message is standing out more, it's more significant, but this time I felt drawn to read it as like an actual reversal, and for this deck particularly, it, there's a, protect, a protection message that comes with it when it's reversed like that, but with this one, it's when it's reversed, it's saying that perhaps you're feeling like there's dark skies around you. Maybe you are feeling like you're at the end of the battle, you know, and you fought all you can fought. You're at the very tippity top and don't know if you can take one more step up the hill. You don't know if you can go one more. But it's saying like 
even though it seems like it's all darkness around you, to look within, to go back into yourself and bring your own light into the darkness. Understand that you are love, right? We're all love. Love is within you. And whenever you shed light into your own darkness, when you look into yourself and you give it a voice, you're able to sing your own song, right? You're able to bring in that light and lift yourself up, motivate yourself up to keep going. The next card that came out is the Ten of Water. I love this card, this big old happy Buddha here. He just looks so happy and fulfilled and just complete serene peace, right? And that's basically what this card is. It's serenity. It's peace. It's well-being. It's good fortune. It's everything that we want in life. It's everything that we could possibly want. And it's everything you could need. But it's also a knowing that you can have it, right? You've got it. You've got it. You've manifested this. You've come to it. You've accomplished through your efforts. You've come to the end of the journey. It's time to take one more step to your 10 of water, your 10 of cups, your love, your happiness, your happy life, happy wife, happy family, happy job, whatever it is, right? This card is calling you to feel grateful. Celebrate where you are. Celebrate how far you've come in this life. Give yourself a moment to go within and look back on your journey and, and pat yourself on the back for it, right? The last card that came out for the reading is the Owl Spirit. And it says, you see clearly now. This card, it, it did come out in the reverse, but I, I, for some reason, I didn't feel that message come through, but I will share both messages, the protection message and the regular message. For me, it's just saying for you to continue to trust in your intuition, trust in your senses. Like an owl can see a 360 angle, right? They can see all the way around them. So trust your intuition, trust your senses that you will always make the right decisions for you. You will always do what is best for you in the moment, right? Be grateful. If you are feeling overwhelmed, if you're feeling like there's darkness, there's not a light, ground yourself. You know, go back to what this card is saying and set some boundaries. Recognize when you're feeling this way. Go outside and spend 10 minutes with bare feet on the ground or even just go lay down in the grass somewhere flat on your back and just lay there and stare up at the sky and that's going to help you ground yourself and and get some clarity as to what your next step forward is going to be but I really think this is a beautiful time in your life right now you are being called to look within and allow yourself to go through a healing process. You've reached the end of whatever journey or cycle this is. And now you're stepping into a whole new adventure. So embrace that. Be happy. Love yourself. Sing your own song and go for it. You can do it. So again, I thank you guys so, so, so much for all of your love and support check out the description box below. I will be posting my website here for you guys to go online and book any private session readings. We could do tarot readings, um, toe readings, or a coaching session. If you're interested, hit me up, let me know. And again, I thank you guys and have a wonderful, amazing day. Bye.